Hello everyone. This video is meant for those students who are currently studying in Standard 11. It is specifically meant for those students who feel that they have wasted their Standard 11 one whole year. To help them out, I'm going to share some tips which will help them change their mindset and also to change their systems and processes so that they can bring about an overhaul in their entire preparation. Before going forward, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeevan and I'm a faculty in the Mechanical Engineering Department of IIT Kharagpur. But that's not why you should listen to me. You should listen to me because the kinds of things that you are doing right now in Standard 11, the kind of mistakes that you are doing, I myself did when I was in Standard 11. As a result, I wasted it and I continued to make some of those mistakes in my Standard 12 also, as a result of which I had to end up dropping one year and only then I was able to clear IITJ and become a student here in the Mechanical Engineering Department of IIT Kharagpur itself. Uh, so this was back in 2004. Now, please remember that these pieces of advice I'm going to share with you, it is self-contained within this video. There is nothing else. I do not intend, not now, not ever, to sell any course to you, unlike many IIT and uh, pass out students so you can trust me that i have nothing to sell here so without further ado let us go forward and discuss the actual changes which you need to incorporate the first thing which you must realize is that your preparation is not on track so stop living in a fantasy world that something is going right things have gone wrong they have been off track for a while now so accept this fact this is the very very first step this is the first change in mindset the second is that you have to also realize that perhaps the momentum at which you are going forward is not quite right and the third thing is that based on all of these things perhaps you need to adjust your goals so some of the things that i'm going to say may sound a little bit bitter a little bit harsh but you have to accept it as an adult. All right. Now, overnight, it is not going to happen that you are suddenly going to be able to change the momentum at which you are working. It is also not going to happen that you are going to be able to, uh, to bring things back on track overnight. But what you can do overnight, what you can do immediately on an urgent basis is to adjust your goals in your mind. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that based on your current level of preparation, try to readjust in your mind as your goal, not JE advanced, but JE mains and doing very well in boards. I know it sounds a little bit contrary give me giving this piece of advice and please don't get me wrong. I'm not asking you to crush your dreams of JE advanced, rather I'm asking you to realign your goals on a very realistic basis. So, once based on this realignment of your goals your preparation gets going your momentum picks up then you can bring back je advanced as one of your realistic goals on a solid foundation this is this change in mindset is very very important i'm not asking you to ditch your over your final goal but for now it is extremely important that you bring back into focus je mains and so even right now, even though one year is left, bring back in your focus JE mains and boards, which will happen one year later. All right. Now, this way, it is only this way that you can stop living in a fantasy world. Okay. And you can do some actual damage control uh, before it is too late. So once you're in 12th, once half a half a year of your 12th is gone, then it will be too late. Okay, now there is another category of students who are sometimes able to do very challenging problems, very tough problems uh, at JE advanced level, maybe even Olympiad level problems. But when it comes to the level of JE mains and even board exams, the kind of questions that come, sometimes they, are, they falter there. So uh, they are very slow, of course in solving those challenging problems 
one good thing is that they have this inherent problem solving ability they have this creativity in their mind this spark of imagination which is required to to solve very tough problems but this is not going to to ultimately help help you unless you can tackle the challenge of j means first so my advice to all these categories of students is that first of all bring back j means in your focus okay i mean solidify your level at the j means level solidify your preparation at the j means level at the boards level so even if god forbid by some chance your things don't go right at least the j means will be secured so like a typical middle class person i am asking you to play it safe but this is also a a piece of advice from a purely academic point of view that unless you reach a certain level you cannot go beyond that you cannot reach the next level it is just like in sports unless you have played well in ranji trophy or at least in the ipl you cannot dream of going to the world cup all right next coming to the processes so based on this change in mindset based on realignment of these goals let us see what change in your systems and processes that you can incorporate so first of all uh, one of the biggest challenges which students face is in their problem solving speed and the overall momentum so how can they change it well uh, let's talk about a two pronged approach for uh, improving the problem solving speed you have to understand that like what i mean what is actually involved in speed when we say doing a problem speedily what does it actually involve and this is very very important so please listen to it very carefully see when we are solving a problem okay any kind of problem and certainly a maths problem physics problem chemistry problem we have in our brain certain options of going forward we deploy those options and then we find out that some of those options are not going to lead us anywhere so we put them aside and we go for other options we find that they are not going to work we put them aside and we go for another option we keep on doing this unless we find the correct approach the correct route to tackle the problem so what do you need to develop the speed well first of all what you need is that you need a bank of different options with which you can tackle the problem how can you develop this bank of options see every challenging problem or even if mildly challenging let's say uh, maybe at the j means level they involve many times a combination of smaller easier things so uh, i mean twisted around in uh, in almost an unrecognizable fashion but if you can recognize them then you are through but then you have to test your options so first of all you need the bank of options and then you need to test your options so how can you build up this bank of options the only way that i know of is to do easier problems you won't believe it that when i was when i had realized my mistakes uh, back when i was a student at your level i used to sometimes practice even those level problems which would never even come in the board level so such easy problems i used to practice because it is only by practicing those easier level problems you build up a bank of options in your head a bank of different kind of approaches in your head and the more you practice some of these easier problems the more you will be automatically attuned to the way that these options these routes they go forward so sometimes when you are actually tackling a more challenging problem and you have this bank of options in your head you will perhaps not even have to actually do this option this this you, you may not have to even test out this route entirely so you can set aside some of these routes without even testing them out because you know what kind of ultimate destination they are going to reach so the more you practice them the more familiar you will be and this will ultimately help you in developing the speed in tackling the more challenging problems because then your mind will automatically you won't even realize this your mind will automatically not go to the wrong kind of options you'll not you're not going to try out the wrong kind of things 
in tackling a problem your mind will automatically without even you realizing it you'll automatically go to the correct kind of things so this is the first prong the second prong of your of your strategy will be to do things in a very time bound fashion when you are at this age uh, sometimes you have a tendency to daydream i mean this age is such you know what i'm talking about sometimes your mind wanders sometimes your mind goes to your to your phone uh, so lots of distractions are there and in this day and age uh, i completely understand that the number of distractions are far far more in number compared to what we had during our days okay so you have to control your mind how can you control your mind by doing things in an extremely time bounded fashion there are lots of apps like pomodoro apps are there so this is a technique of doing things in a time bounded fashion pomodoro so you can uh, you can uh, install such an app in your mobile phone and uh, maybe first of all develop the tenacity the stamina to work in a burst of half an hour just half an hour without absolutely any distraction just work straight up like a beast for half an hour then maybe develop your stamina develop up your stamina level it up to 1 hour and ultimately your goal will be to develop your stamina of working at a stretch like a beast on fire for 2 hours straight why am i saying 2 hours because many of these examinations even later on when you go to undergraduate many of the examinations are of this 1 hour 2 hour stretches so if you develop this stamina this muscle this brain mental muscle to do things absolutely undistracted like a complete like a savage to 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 attack the problem to do it completely undistracted then uh, then overall your speed is going to increase okay after the 2 hour is over after the 1 hour is over maybe take a little break and then come back to it okay you will not i mean you won't believe the kind of refreshing uh, uh, attitude your mind will have if you follow this particular process okay so i'm sure these are things which you have heard before but see i mean no piece of advice is great by itself i'm giving this pieces of advice no piece of advice is great by itself A, an advice becomes great only when you absorb its essence and implement it correctly so it is you who will make this advice great okay me just blabbering on about it it is not going to make this advice great so uh, i think honestly i think that is a decent piece of advice try to implement it there is another thing which i would like to share with you based on my overall experiences of my life till now see uh in this day and age all of our all of us are in a perpetual state of distraction okay our attention is divided and we are always in a in a in a sense uh, suffering from the fear of missing out fomo as they say it so what we do is we try this thing out we try that thing out we go from this thing to that thing without really putting down our attention closely and devotedly on one particular thing so we are always busy and rushing around in things what i would like to suggest to you is try to curtail your speed in life don't try to rush around in life all the time okay i know this may be a little bit of a contrarian approach especially because i am asking you to pick up your overall momentum and here i am saying to slow down so the thing is you have to build up your speed in your actual problem solving when you are doing the various kinds of things when you are testing for different kinds of routes of solving the problems in your mind it is there that you have to pick up the speed not the speed in which you are living your life so slow down in your life and pick up the speed in your problem solving this is my one earnest piece of advice and request to you and finally i want to uh, discuss certain things related to that subject which is most often neglected in the rush of building up your proficiency in maths and physics 
many a time especially in standard 11th what happens is that you neglect chemistry and this is an absolute blunder which i myself did and i paid very very heavily because of this mistake so you must must give your attention to chemistry in a very very respectful fashion first of all what what you must do is that you have to finish the ncrt books this is an absolute must remember that you will always have the ten, uh, temptation of going to hi-fi level books and it will make you feel good that yes i'm doing hi-fi level things maybe at the j advanced level or even beyond uh, and uh, but this is again living in a fantasy world so mind you your target here is to achieve success overall success in j and for that you need to crack j mains first and for that finishing up your ncr team thing is an absolute must in fact your preparation should be such your preparation should be such that if any question comes from between those covers of the ncrt books there is no way you are going to miss out on them let some advanced level things come you may not be able to do them but if 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 some question comes from those ncrt books you are through okay your preparation should be at that level only after you have finished those things can you go to higher level things can you go to the higher level textbooks and see when you do that your mind will actually be able to absorb the things in the right spirit and at the right level from those higher level textbooks also because your foundation has been very very strong based on what you have done from your ncrt books okay so please try to remember this your your goal here is not to just uh, gratify yourself with some kind of intellectual pleasure of doing difficult difficult things all the time rather your your job here your mission here is to first solidify your base and only then go to a higher level so please try to remember this sometimes it may also happen that uh, you may get a feeling that you are kind of wasting your time like quote unquote wasting your time mugging up things in chemistry and this is a time which could have been better applied in doing more intellectually challenging things in mathematics and physics but again i am emphasizing this right now you are in damage control mode already your 11th is kind of wasted so you have to do this damage control and a, an important and absolutely integral part of this damage control mode is to is to, uh, is to is to remove the damages that have been done to chemistry and chemistry can be scoring mind you so you have to have to i mean even if it feels like a sacrifice that you are sacrificing the time that you could have that could have been de devoted to maths and physics let it be so sacrifice the time be an adult about it and sacrifice your time and study chemistry it will pay rich dividends later on so i have discussed a lot of things okay and i'm not going to give you any other further piece of advice but i only want to reiterate this that see many of some of the things which i have said like uh, you should uh, for the time being forget about j advanced and try to focus on j mains it may sound a little bit bitter but this is for your own good and for the actual ultimate purpose of bringing j advanced back in focus so try to understand the spirit in which i have said it and remember also that how you listen to these pieces of advice so just watching a youtube video and going about your merry way and continuing the way that you are doing it it is not going to help you unless you actually bring about changes in your approach in your mindset so after my my earnest request and hope is that after you have watched this video you will absorb the things that i have said to you and you are going to make actual changes in your approach in your mindset only only then it is going to work out trust me i'm saying this again from first hand experience i had made these mistakes myself so my only hope is that you do not make the same kinds of mistakes and you do not waste even your 12th so that you do not have to finally drop all right so with this piece of advice i wish you all the very best 
Thank you and bye.